Well, we've had some close calls before with videos being removed or taken down temporarily before something gets fixed and rectified, but this time I didn't have that luxury and one of my most popular videos was wrongfully taken down by YouTube for good. I don't know why I put up with this so much, but I do. And this one hurts the most out of all the BS I have put up with with YouTube. Today I'm talking about the removal of my tutorial guide on how to fix Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. YouTube removed my video on the grounds of it being perceived as encouraging what they call harmful or dangerous content. The official statement is that harmful or dangerous content is content that shows viewers how to gain unauthorized free access to audio content, audiovisual content, full video games, software, or streaming services that normally require payment is not allowed. This policy applies to videos, video descriptions, comments, live streams, and any other YouTube product or feature. What I'm guessing is that YouTube's terrible AI detected this tutorial as me detailing illegal activity when that's not what I was doing. The annoying thing of course is that what I was doing in the video is entirely legal being done in a legally obtained copy of GTA 3 and GTA Vice City on Steam, but they didn't seem to know or notice. Of course this is an AI so what would it notice anyway? It doesn't know anything. Of course, YouTube doesn't know shit about what I'm doing, but nevertheless, what I was doing in the video is entirely legal, and it is simply changing game files that are accessible to any user and using a legally obtained copy of said games. The worst of it is I would love to show you what I'm talking about, but because it's removed by YouTube, I can't even view it myself nor download it, and I never saved a copy of the video on account of it being over a year old. But in short, I was using Steam to show how to alter some file names in the directory for the games, and that was it. It's a fucking disgrace that this video is removed on the grounds of something that's not the case at all. Now you might be asking, it was removed, but did you appeal the decision? And yep, I did. I sent them back a clear explanation, quoting their own guidelines in detailing how they're wrong and that the video describes an entirely legal way of fixing the games. My appeal was, quote, the removal is incorrect. This does not in any way, shape, or form violate community guidelines, especially for harmful or dangerous content. In the given description, it is said that this content shows viewers how to gain unauthorized free access to full video games software that normally require payment. This is not the case. The instructions within the video show how to gain access, not for free, using a paid version of the detailed games, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, through the Steam or Rockstar Games Launcher computer application. This can only be done with authorized copies the way it is shown in the video. This does not detail anything beside the legal steps that a legally obtained copy of said video games can be altered for experience enhancement. I submitted it and waited, but I didn't wait long. Literally seven minutes passed between me submitting the appeal and it being rejected. I submitted the appeal at 2.02 a.m. Eastern Time on July 19th and got an email response back at 2.09 a.m. Eastern saying it was rejected. It doesn't take a genius to see that not a single person looked at it or read it. A bot might have, but already made the decision that it wasn't going to let the video be put back up anyway. There was no way I was going to win unless someone with half a brain actively looked at it and the chances were slim of that happening. Would this have gone a different way if I hadn't submitted it in the wee hours of the morning? Probably, but I still think it was predetermined. I wouldn't win this appeal no matter how hard I tried. I'm lucky enough that I only got a warning out of this, but it did lead to a popular video of mine with 1.7k views being removed permanently for no good reason because YouTube made a shitty wrongful judgment. That said, I hate the fact that I have a warning because that means if this were to happen again, I'd actually get a community guideline strike on my channel. So now I'm over here walking on eggshells because there's a chance this bullshit could happen again behind my back for no justified reason, and I get a strike because two of this has happened. Now look, I sure as hell exercise my freedom of speech, but I never think I go overboard in any stretch of the imagination, let alone ever encourage illegal activity like they thought I was doing. But I hate the fact that this platform is moderated in a way that allows primitive machine learning to dictate what videos look like they're dangerous and what is actually dangerous. There's no perfect system, but with something as massive as YouTube and with a company as massive as Google having all the money to have the best possible resources at their disposal, it's a fucking joke. I'm extremely disappointed first off that my video was removed, but even more infuriated when I saw that my video was rejected for appeal within minutes of sending it, showing no respect to me at all. 
this is just another example of YouTube saying they care about their creators, especially their small creators, and it turns out to be utter bullshit like most public relations statements. I can't do any more than I did, but I never shy away from talking about how I got slighted, so here we are again. I'm getting kind of sick of making these videos, but as long as this keeps happening, I will. I don't think this is me playing the victim either by talking about it. I see it more as giving a cautionary tale out to others and helping people understand what's happening to me and what bullshit happens to others that might not talk about it like I do. Fun fact, this is just another one in a long list of problems I've had with YouTube, including having a Half-Life video removed for violent content when there wasn't any, or my thumbnails being censored because they accused me of sexualizing a video game character, and of course most recently Disney wrongfully blocking my video because they thought I was using part of a movie when I wasn't. What a list, and it's a shame I have to put up with this. It's extremely discouraging, and I hate to say it, but my motivation is down the shitter as a result. Whatever though, I think I'll still do my thing, but I'll never change, so here we are. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on the matter, so until the next video, thanks for listening, and more than ever, take care.